you're listening to KSC podcast this is a short crisp concise exam oriented edited editorial for civil services aspirants in this podcast we are going to talk about unified payment interface light source for the content is hansini karthik's article for the business standard how the feature phone version of the indigenous payments app can help declutter the e money highway UPI is the indigenous digital payment system in India that was conceptualized and operated by the National Payments Corporation of India. Seven years on, UPI today holds 96.5% market share in overall payments and seven years on, UPI today holds 96.5% market share in overall mobile payments and 56% volume-wise in percent-to-merchant payments. Now, what is UPI Lite? Smartphones and an internet connection are a must to use the UPI app. UPI Lite is said to be the feature phone version specifically for low denomination transactions. Now what is UPI Lite? Smartphones and an internet connection are a must to use the UPI app. UPI Lite is said to be the feature phone version specifically for low denominations transactions. given that about 75% of the total volume of retail transactions in india including cash transactions is below 100 rupees each and 50% of upi transactions are for 200 rupees each upi lite will initially target transactions of 200 rupees or less to begin with the app will be designed only for debit transactions that is to send money from the app the facility for credit transactions or receiving money through the app is planned in phase 2 Now how does it work UPI Lite is an on device wallet here users will have to allocate funds from their bank accounts to the app and the amount will be parked in the users bank in an escrow or pool or designated account for the app the UPI Lite balance limit is set at 2000 rupees while payments are possible in an offline mode you would need internet connectivity to replenish funds using an additional factor authentication or through UPI autopay which needs to be registered online using an AFA the upper limit for payment is currently 200 rupees the key differentiating factor between a regular digital wallet and UPI Lite is that an existing UPI customer need not repeat the KYC process to use UPI Lite. Now will UPI Lite be different from UPI 1 to 3 Pay? Yes, unlike UPI 1 to 3 Pay, UPI Lite enables QR code based payment even offline. UPI 1 to 3 Pay is largely an interactive voice response or IVR based technology. though it also has app based functionality proximity sound based payments and enabling payments through a missed call why is upi lite important for digital payments in india processing over 9.6 lakh crore rupees worth of transactions as on 31st of march 2022 the prominence of upi within the traditional payment system such as imps that is immediate payment service neft and RTGS has grown significantly in the last 3 years however the ticket sizes in UPI are much smaller than in the other channels about 3/4 of UPI payments are low value a few weeks back UPI faced payment glitches with the rate of rejection higher than usual due to the transaction load by taking low value transactions offline UPI Lite will help declutter the payments system Now how will this help banks a reduced traffic on the payments platform means an increased availability of core banking system or CBS for big ticket payments through NEFT and RTGS therefore UPI Lite would help banks process payments more cost effectively that's it for this podcast thank you so much for listening to join KSG India courses and to crack the IELTS exam visit ksgindia.com you can also get a pdf of this podcast on ksgindia.com thanks for listening and do subscribe to our channel